brought to the provincial level and the federal level in Canada. The UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination has called on the Canadian government to immediately halt the construction and suspend all permits and approval for the construction of the coastal gas and pipeline in the traditional and unceded land of the territories of the West Threatened People until they grant their free, prior, and informed consent following the full and adequate discharge of the duty to consult. On January 4, 2020, the hereditary chiefs of the West Threaten, representing all five clans, issued an eviction notice to Coastal Gasland, which is still in place. On January 13, 2020, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police set up an exclusion zone, blocking media, wet sweating people, and food from entering their territory. On February 6, 2020, militarized police conducted a raid on the resistance camps and illegally evicted matriarchs and land defenders. The police have used assault rifles, snipers, dogs, sound cannons, heli and helicopters on Indigenous elders and youth. The police are still there now. This egregious treatment of Indigenous peoples on their territory should be enough for your corporation to cut all ties with this project. However, this project is also a high-risk investment, both financially and environmentally. There is a serious risk that CGL may become a stranded asset as the world turns away from high-cost fossil fuels to lower-cost renewable energy sources. The International Panel on Climate Change and the International Energy Agency have both publicly stated that further fossil fuel expansion exacerbates climate change. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said that the proliferation of fossil fuels is moral and economic madness. 